this question, I will show you how to calculate the number of islands. You're given a grid that's m by n, where the islands or the land is donated by 1 and the water is donated by 0. You need to find out how many connected ones are there, where each one will represent an island. Now, this is a depth first uh, search problem. It can also be solved by BFS, but DFS seems more straightforward to me in this case. So like in any grid, uh, you will start by iterating through the whole grid. And you can do that by right, by getting the height, which is the length of the grid, and then the width, which is the length of the grid at the index of zero. And in this case, what you want to do is iterate through the height and iterate through the width and these both both of these values if you substitute them into the given grid and it's equal to one let me just put pass here so i can explain a little bit okay so for i in range height in this case it will be here and then for the width which in, in this case will be this way and the height will be that way start iterating so when i equals one j will also equal one in the next iteration it will the the width will be here in the third iteration it will be here and so on and so forth when it's at the end then the i will move down here and then it will continue now where it equals one that is basically that's a number that's an island right there you want to perform a certain function and what the certain function does is it counts how many neighboring ones are there in order to calculate an island okay so in our case I'll, I'll just keep this um, pass here as pass and the question says return the number of islands so you can say okay the number of islands I'll just do count equals zero and I want you to return that count and I want something to happen here and and that should iterate my counter so what I'm just trying to do here is I'm just laying the foundation. Um, like any BFS or DFS solution, this is sort of like a template where you can iterate through the grid. Okay, so let's define our helper function and I'm just going to call it DFS. And this DFS takes in the self, the grid, the I and the J. So we have the I and we have the J. So if we just do it right here, it takes in the grid the i and the j as simple as that and you can already guess what this does this basically returns the number of connecting ones now how how do, how do we do this well we can start by thinking we want to make sure that this i is within the walls um, um, within the walls of the grid so if this i is less than 0 then basically you're somewhere here which then is not within the walls of the grid or if it's bigger than the length of the grid in this case we already calculated height you can pass the height here but then it will be too much passing of variables but it's just much easier to to write it right here and we can apply the same idea to j if j is less than zero or j is bigger in the length of the grid so in this case again the width is somewhere out here which doesn't matter or if we would substitute this ij and in our case it doesn't equal one then i'll just return which basically exits the function because we know that an island is connecting one so if in this case we get a zero or whatever other value then it's not an island anymore and you want to return and you're going to have you're going to keep your count and that count is the number of connecting ones so what if it doesn't meet any of this criteria what if it's actually a one well if it's a one you want to check its neighbors in this case we're going to recall the dfs again we're going to pass the grid i and j but in this case you want to check the neighboring i so if you're here you want to check down here so you're going to do i plus one and then I'm going to copy this one more time. But what if you're in the middle here? So I plus one would be here or could be there. 
So you want to also do i minus 1. Now you want to repeat the same thing to the j value. So if I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to remove this, I'm going to do j plus 1 and j minus 1. So you would also check the j. But how do you avoid counting um, grids or locations that you've already visited? Basically, wherever you are at grid ij, just give it the hash. And basically, you see, if it doesn't equal to 1, which in this case, it will not continue counting. So let's say you arrive to this location 1 right here, and it's going to check the one to the right. So the one on the right of 0, it's going to terminate. It's going to check on the one on, on the left here. Oh, it's 1. So it's going to say 1. Then it's going to continue exploring. It's going to come here. Oh, yeah, this is also 1. But as it goes through this, it's going to add a hash. So then this island on the top here is only counted once and not more than once. So now let's hit submit and see what we get. And there it is. We have managed to solve it in place and we have returned the count of the number of islands. Thank you for watching.